my name is Katie Sproul. I'm currently attending Nova Southeastern University's College of Dental Medicine. I'm from St. Petersburg, Florida, and I studied at the University of South Florida, majoring in biomedical sciences. At the University of South Florida, I was involved with Alpha Epsilon Delta, a pre-health honor society, as well as volunteered for Big Brothers Big Sisters, Moffitt Cancer Center, Hope Lodge, and Ronald McDonald House. I became interested in dentistry when a dentist came to speak at Alpha Epsilon Delta, but it wasn't until my shattering experience that I really knew it was a career for me. One thing that really attracted me to dentistry was the idea that we have the opportunity to prevent disease in our patients before it even happens. The other thing that I love about it is that if a patient does experience dental disease, we have the opportunity to teach them better hygiene and get rid of the disease the same day. To prepare for the DAT, I used DAT boot camp for about three and a half months. Some days I would study eight to 10 hours, some days three to five. But my biggest tip is to schedule out about two weeks of studying at a time and check in with yourself at the end of every week. Really ask yourself, am I scoring what I want? If I, have I mastered the information? Take a lot of practice tests. And when you, after you take the practice test, review all your answers, even the ones you got right. Because just by reading and getting that repetition, that's the best way to prepare for the DAT. One thing that I really think set me apart as an applicant for dental school was my consistent volunteer work. I volunteered for Big Brothers Big Sisters as a mentor for three and a half years. I really enjoyed my time as a mentor for Big Brothers Big Sisters and I was able to write a lot about it in my application as well as talk about it in my interview. I think dental schools really like to see that you're passionate about something and that you were involved with it for a long time. So if you're young and just starting undergrad, start getting involved with an organization that you're passionate about right away. Nova's interview is notoriously relaxed. When we got there, they told us that they've already seen our grades and our applications and that they just really want to know your personality. After hearing from our dean and different faculty within the College of Dental Medicine, we sat down and had a conversation with our interviewer. I felt great during my interview, and my biggest suggestion is to talk with family and friends about how you're going to answer some difficult questions. That way, when they ask something that might be hard to answer, it's not going to catch you off guard and the answer is just going to flow right out. I applied to seven schools, but I really wanted to stay in Florida. And the thing that I love about NOVA is the location. Where better to attend dental school than in South Florida? Plus, it was the only place I got in. <laughs> But in all seriousness, other than location, the best thing about NOVA is our facilities. The transition from undergrad to dental school is a lot like when you get stuck under a wave and then the waves just keep coming and knocking you to the bottom and it feels like you're never going to be able to come up for a breath of air. But by the second semester, you figured out how to sit at the bottom of the ocean and let the waves pass and then you can come up for air. But just know the next set of waves is coming. <laughs> the typical day of a dental student is honestly just class eight to five. Some days we have less classes, but in our free time, we're mostly studying. We might not be studying for an exam, we might be in the lab, and that's another way to study, but we have exams pretty much every week, sometimes two exams a week, sometimes three exams a week. So after my class eight to five, I'll come home, I give myself about an hour to relax, have some dinner, and then it's just right back to studying. My biggest advice for pre is just to stay organized. So when you're volunteering or doing any kind of experiences like shadowing for your resume, have a Google Doc that you update every week, every two weeks, every month, whatever works for you. Write down what you did, how many hours you were there, all that kinds of stuff. That way when it comes time to apply for dental school, you're just gonna have your resume already there and you just have to move it over to your dental school resume. The other thing is it gives you an opportunity to really look 
at your experiences and hold yourself accountable because applying to dental school is a lot more than just your grades. Thank you so much for taking the time to watch my video. And if you want to follow me on Instagram, you can find me at dental underscore KT. That's dental underscore letter K letter T. Also, thank you so much to Future DDS for choosing me as a rep for Nova Southeastern University and also to my classmate Genesis Santiago for helping me take these videos.